there's a web tool that uh, anyone can sign up for called LastPass, and I think it's a, a very useful tool for pretty much anybody working at school or just at home or wherever. Um, so this thing's called LastPass. It's a last. <coughs> it's a password manager program. So you go to LastPass.com, and it's a it's a free service. Um, there is some charges involved if if you want it to run on your um, mobile device. I think you have to pay a yearly fee of like ten dollars or something like that. Um, but essentially, what happens here is you make an account with uh, LastPass, and then all your passwords are saved within this program. Not only that. Not only does it save your passwords, but it creates um, you can create very secure passwords for you that you can use. The and there's plugins for all the browsers like Chrome and Firefox and whatnot. Um, the upshot for this is that you can have many different secure passwords. You don't have to reuse your passwords. Um, you can have very secure passwords, and you don't have to know what they are. So, for instance, when I log into my ad. I have no idea what this password is. Like, I, it, it's just a randomly generated thing from LastPass, and I don't have to remember it. I just go log on, done. Um, when I go to the VSB sign-in for my emails, for instance, go to DW Smith work account, and I actually I do know what this password is because I have to enter it in for my email, but it, it could be a random generated thing. I just sign in, done. Um, you could, here's the plugin for via for the LastPass. Let's suppose I want to sign into the, um, uh, what's it called, SFE, if you have to get a sub. I click on this, signs me in, done. I, I have no idea what that password is. There's a password there. I don't know what it is, I, and I don't need to know. Um, what else do I use it for? I mean, I use it for everything. I mean, I have, like most people, I, I or like a lot of people, I think I have like dozens, if not hundreds, of different passwords for all the little websites that I've signed up for. Um, and I have a very secure password scheme now because they're all separate and hard to know passwords. The ones, the one secret to this is, um, I mean, it's kind of a, it's an advanced thing, so you. you if you're if you're interested, in this, you're gonna have to sit down and read about it and ask some questions. But essentially, is you have one really good password that you use, and that's the one that logs into LastPass. After that, all the ones, all the other passwords are sort of hidden behind this behind the scenes. And you don't even really know what, need to know what they are. Um, the one trick to it is to make a good password for LastPass that you won't forget. Um, so, and what my suggestion for that is to use. Um, passwords that are we could call passphrases they're very long um so they they're basically impossible to be guessed by even supercomputers um but they're easy to remember so let's suppose you have a dog named um chuck you could have something like i love my dog named chuck so it's chances are that's very easy for you to remember and it's it, it's pretty much impossible for computers to figure out. It's too long. Uh, I know a lot of password security people say, well, you need some capitals, some little letters, some numbers, and some symbols. And it's true. But once you start getting over 12, 14 um, uh, numbers of letters or whatever it is, once you get to that range, it, it's basically impossible even without having uh, symbols. Um, there's other ways to make that easier to you can go dot dot I love my dog Chuck dot dot so or you even start with a capital I so and then it's also use it's using like actual um, sent proper grammar like capital I I love my dog Chuck capital so you can see a super secure password and the only thing you, and that's the only one you have to remember that's I guess that's why it's called last pass it's the last password you have to remember